In this video, we're going over the nuts and bolts of biodiversity net gain. Step 1. The landowner wants to diversify or generate a reliable income stream from non-yielding or poorly performing land holdings. Step 2. The landowner instructs preliminary ecological appraisal of the land using the appropriate DEFRA metric for biodiversity assessment. The landowner also instructs an ecologist to produce a net gain plan based on the projected 30-year uplift in biodiversity units. Step 3. The net gain plan is governed by Section 39 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act and appended to the legal agreement which convents the landowner and his successors entitled to a 30-year agreement that ensures the creation of the net gain. This legal agreement to which the net gain plan is appendage is drafted by specialist lawyers. Step 4. The landowner approaches the regulator and pays a fee to have the units recognized through a certificate. The landowner is further expected to meet the legal fees of the regulator in certifying the credits. The legal contract and newly certified credits between the regulator and the landowner will contain repayment provisions if the net gain plan is not adhered to. Step 5. The landowner may now approach the open market to sell certified credits. And now, how the sale of credits to a developer works. A local planning authority consents to a development that does not meet the exception criteria for BNG, a condition of planning consent or S.106 TCPA requires that biodiversity net gain is delivered as part of the consented scheme. To be released from this obligation, a developer must purchase off-site net gain biodiversity credits. The developer pays a single lump sum fee to purchase the credits, which are then destroyed or expired by the regulator. The developer will have his own legal fees to meet in the purchase of credits. Finally, the developer is released from the S.106 or has his BNG conditions discharged. The developer has no further liability to the regulator or planning authority once the transaction is complete. The onus is on the landowner to deliver the net game plan. For more informative videos on arboriculture and ecology, follow Arbtech.